Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Amankin Cloud. In this video, let us explore Azure AI Foundry. So let us see how to create an AI hub in the Azure portal. And let's see the differences and also try to understand the use cases on why we need to use Azure AI Foundry and what are all the capabilities that it might offer. So firstly, let's go into the Azure Foundry website and see what are the details we have on the website. And then we will also see what uh, AI Studio or AI Foundry is all about. Okay, so let's see in the website now. So as you can see on the website, um, Azure AI Foundry, it's a Microsoft's end-to-end -end platform for building and deploying AI solutions in the cloud. So basically it provides you a, a unified environment where data scientists, developers, and business professionals can collaborate to create AI powered applications uh, using the drag and drop uh, interfaces that it will offer to you. And it is going to be like automated machine learning and advanced uh, AI services uh, can be used in this portal. And one thing uh, that I really like is uh, if you ask me a question, what I can do with Azure AI Foundry, there are, uh, the, I will answer it in two different points. One is it's a library of AI models and services. Uh, basically, it's a uh, it's a one it's umbrella where it contains all uh, all the marketplaces of uh, you know large language models from OpenAI to Meta. And then we also have open source models, which is very important. And it, it also contains APIs for advanced AI services like vision, speech, and also document intelligence. For example, if you want to read a receipt and things like that, you can do that as well. And the second point would be a platform to build AI apps. So this Azure AI um, uh, Foundry or Azure AI Studio, which was previously known as Studio, has everything you need to build the most sophisticated AI applications and solutions, but it offers you the orchestrations, endpoints, custom functions, data indexing, and a lot more. For example, if you want to create your own um, you know, platform where you uh, have to uh, integrate different LLMs, it can be uh, open source LLM as well. You can use this platform to build your application and then publish it. Uh, if you want to create your own custom application and if you want to use the endpoint, that's also possible, right? So that's the beauty about this platform. We are going to dive deep into this platform on, on this video series. And this is the very beginning, uh, very first video of this series. So uh, uh, let's also see how to create an AI hub uh, in the Azure portal. But a big caution here. Uh, if you want to use this, uh, you know, Azure AI Foundry, it's going to cost you. Uh, it's uh, it's based on pay as you go, whatever the services, whatever the things that you are going to use, you'll be billed for that. This is not, uh, you know, provided under free tier as uh, when I was recording this video, but it might change in the future as well. But please make sure to check out before using this product because it might cost you as well, right? But I'm using, uh, you know, MSDN platform subscription, which is offering a free uh, credit for me so I can use it and explore and uh, explain it to you guys. So if this is clear to you, let's see you in the portal. Okay, so so I'm in my portal right now. Uh, this is how the Azure uh, you know uh, portal looks like. Uh, if you want to uh, you know search for any products or any services, you can just go ahead and type in here in um, the search bar. And if you see here, the third pointer that you're getting is Azure AI Foundry, right? So let's click on that. And here, if you see here, you have a create button. You can just click on that and you have two things to create. One is a project. Basically, you collaborate on a project, organize different things and track all the work related to your AI application to build AI apps. And the second one is Hub itself. Basically, it's just a grouping uh, it's a container for your project. Uh, it, it provides security, connectivity, and compute management uh, for the entire uh, you know AI application. So first, let's create the AI um, hub in this particular video, and then in the upcoming videos, we will also see how to create a project, and we will also see how to create uh, uh, an AI application altogether. Okay. So first, let me click on Azure AI Hub. 
and if you if you see here it's asking me to provide few details so let's go ahead and give that a uh, resource group i'm going to create a new resource group i'll name that as ai uh, test okay so that looks good to me i'll click on okay and i'm going to select uh, mumbai or i'll go with south india as my region that should be fine and i'll also give the same name here uh, ai test okay so i'll just use a friendly name and uh, this should be fine i am not going to use any default uh, project resource group and uh, let's also connect uh, ai services including open ai so let's go ahead and create a new one so i'll just say uh, ai test uh, surf okay and i'll save it okay so that's getting uh, populated here automatically next let's go through storage and uh, let let leave, uh, let's leave it uh, to azure to create it so uh, that should be fine uh, i'll just go with uh, microsoft managed um, credential store that should also work and if you want to store the logs uh, and if you have the docker image you can go with uh, application insights or the container registry as well so i am going to leave that as default now uh, you have uh, i forgot to inform you that there are three different offerings when it comes to networking uh it can be public it can be private with internet bound and it can be private with uh, uh, approved outbound so you can see the differences here basically if you go with public workspace is accessed via public endpoint uh, compute can access public resources as well and outbound data movement is unrestricted so these things you need to note under public but when it comes to private with internet outbound you have workspace uh, is uh, workspace will be accessed via private endpoint and compute can access private resources outbound data movement is unrestricted right next you have uh, uh, a private with approved outbound where uh, workspace is accessed via private endpoint and you have the compute uh, basically it can access Uh, allowed resources only whatever the resources that you want to allow only those resources will be allowed and then you have outbound basically the data movement is restricted to the approved target alone so for to keep it simple let's go with public for now and if you want to explore other uh, networking areas we can do that in the later part of the video as well okay so let's select this one next let's go to encrypting um let's leave it as is if you have your own uh, encryption key you can encrypt the data using uh, your own uh, encryption key but i'll leave it as is and identity <coughs> so i'll uh, leave it as is as well so credential based or uh, you also can go with uh, identity based access so i'll go with uh, credential based so i'll leave everything else as default and i'll go to tag and i'll go to review and create so once you have everything in place so uh, all you have to do is click on create so let's wait until everything is done so if you see here uh, you can review all the things that you have selected and once you are good with this let's go ahead and click on create so this will take a couple of minutes for you to create the resources so once the resource is available you can access it via the endpoint and you can start exploring the ai hub as well so let's wait until the deployment is complete and we will see what are all the different capabilities that we have in the uh, you know machine learning service uh, ai foundry and explore the uh, entire uh, project as well if you see here uh, the deployment is complete now if you click on go to resource uh, you will see this one okay so you can see uh, the deployment has been completed and you can also see this button where you can launch the ai foundry so let's click on that and here if you see uh you can manage everything from this site uh, basically it will give you all the details uh, streamlined from start uh, start and you can see the end point everything right so it, this is just giving you a tour but this here is where you can create a project and you can start exploring this ai foundry so so let's keep it simple uh, for this video that is all i had for uh, uh, for this video i wanted to cover what is ai foundry and also how to create uh, you know ai foundry from the azure portal in the next video i'll also try to create uh, azure uh, ai foundry project and see what are all the things that we can do using this particular platform okay so if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it with your friends thank you and i will see you in the next video